What's up everybody? Welcome back to the Billy Goat channel. In today's video, I wanted to do something a little bit different. Um, it's been a little bit since I put out a video. I've been working on some art related stuff in the background, you know. But I just got off work and I figured why not come home and do a little murder. Yeah, I said it. Murder. Um, I've been playing a lot of Hitman recently. And I thought, what better way to uh, to just relax and kind of unwind than to kill some people in creative ways. So, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to see what kind of mischief we can get into. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right in. Oh yeah, baby. And by the way, if my voice like breaks or I sound really bad, it's because I've been sick. I'm like getting over some type of cold or I don't even know what, but I've been like hacking up a lung for a while now. So, you know, bear with me. I'm going to try to make it through this video, I think I'm going to do it in like two parts. So we'll do like half of a freelancer campaign in this video and then the second half later. Uh, that's the game plan. So basically, this is Hitman World of Assassination, which is Hitman 1, Hitman 2, and Hitman 3 all combined into one game. And... This new mode, Freelancer, basically takes the levels from the story missions and adds a whole nother layer of, like, randomization and you're, like, slowly building up your arsenal and you have these uh, payout objectives, these special objectives you're trying to do. Um, but let's go ahead and jump in here go to the safe house. Yeah, you have your own safe house that uh, you can customize and stuff. I swear, I I wish I wasn't fucking sick right now because I feel like I need like a gallon of cough syrup. Oh, I got my OJ here. More home improvement mm -hmm. There he is, the bald wonder. Okay, so yeah, this is your safe house. Um, and you can do customize different things. Like, I've barely even messed with the customization. Okay, well, what do I want here? Uh, I like that kind of zen, zen garden thing. We're not going to mess around in here too much, okay? This isn't the, you know, home and garden network or whatever. We're going to get straight into the assassination. We're going down into the secret underground lair. This is where the magic happens. So, yeah, this is basically your, your kind of hideout. <clears throat> and you can see all my weapons I've collected on my previous campaigns. Got quite a nice collection of uh, SMGs here. Got some silenced pistols. Got some snipers. So we're pretty well set up. Um, the last campaign I did, I made it all the way to the last showdown. Okay, see, see these boxes here, this line of boxes. I made it all the way to the last one. I even killed the leader, which is, that's supposed to be game over right there. But at, I killed the leader as the leader was escaping. And then a guard killed me. So I failed everything. Okay, so this is, this is my redemption arc right here. And we're going to go ahead and begin and select one of these syndicates to take down. So each one of these little folders here is a different 
crime syndicate and you'll have different objectives. For example, if I pick Big Pharma here, you'll see that all these objectives on the left-hand side are kind of poison related. So you have to poison your target uh, either using sedatives or dart guns or whatever. Um, but I think to start off here, since I already have some silenced weapons, we're gonna go for assassination. So we'll go ahead and begin this campaign. And we've got three locations here we can choose from. Um, I always tend to try to knock the hardest ones out first. And Colorado is a is kind of a hard location because it's got a lot of guards. So let's go ahead and do this. So I've got to get a sniper kill. I've got to get an explosive remote kill. And I have to eliminate guards with a sniper. So let's go ahead and select this. I'm going to put my headphones on. Hopefully I'm not like screaming. But I like to be able to hear everything. Okay, so so also you have these prestige objectives, which are like super bonus objectives that give you extra money. Um, and I think I have an ice pick, don't I? I do have an ice pick. So we'll do ice, yeah, we'll do ice pick kill. We'll grab the ice pick from my collection here. Everything you can carry with you has a weight to it. I can only carry 12 pounds uh, of gear. So the ice pick weighs one pound. So that's not an issue. Um, we have to have a sniper for a sniper kill. So we'll go ahead and get my Seeger 300 tactical, baby. Yeah, this thing is, this thing slaps. All right. Um... And so every time you do a mission, you also get to pick one of three random tools here. So we have a trank gun, a crowbar, and a breaching charge. Um, I think I'm going breaching charge because I believe this location has a safe and we can try to, yeah. So it has a safe and a breaching charge is great for breaking into safes. Okay, so looking at our loadout here, we have, there's only two targets, right? So the explosive kill's not gonna happen. We got the sniper kill locked down, and we got the ice pick kill. So I think we're good to go. All right, I think we're ready to go to Colorado. I'll be in touch. Taking the chopper. Colorado. The syndicate is currently operating in the area. Find them and eliminate. Don't disappoint, 47. Good luck. All right. So, okay, the safe is nearby. First thing I like to do <clears throat> is look at the map. I'm right here. We got a safe. Uh, so the first target is upstairs on the barracks, and there's another guy out here by the chemical shed. I'm gonna need to get, in a, get a disguise, and actually that should be fairly easy from where I am. So, let me, there's a guy right here, and when they have the white dots on their heads, that means basically they can see through my disguise, so I have to uh, avoid these guys. Let me go ahead and take my sniper out. Oh my god, Crouch, you idiot. He just stands right up. Okay, so this this guy over here is like looking at ants or something. So that's fine. Um, let's go ahead and snipe this guy in the head. There we go. Uh, to seal my sniper. Okay, he's walking away. I should be able to grab a disguise off this guy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Dump this guy in the little pond here. Ta-ta. Bye-bye. And we are golden. Alright. 
and my disguise is looking good. We can slip right through here and we can get the safe. This is where the breaching charge comes in handy. Drop this sucker right here. No! Why? It didn't go, it didn't work. It wasn't close enough. God damn it. Okay, not a big deal, not a big deal. Quad bike keys, okay. I had no idea. See, every time I go through a level, I learn a new thing. I had no idea the quad bike keys were right here. So that that's another way you can escape the level is on the quad bike. Um, but there's another way we can get into the safe by hacking different things in the area. Um, so that's, I need to find two more things to hack here. Pick this hammer up, pick the soda can up. It's good for throwing at people. What are you looking at? Jackass? Something. Oh, here we go, here's something. Some documents here. So we need one more thing to scan. Uh, one more thing. Here we go. Okay, we got it. Safe cracked. Climb on through here. Open this puppy up. And we got the Merces. So we got 2,000, I'm just gonna call it dollars, okay? It's called, the money's called Merces, but anyway. All right, so we got some money. Now our first target, he's right up there. Honestly, I should be able to snipe this guy from anywhere. Um, no problem. How do I want to do this? We might want to hit this guy on the way out. So let me just go straight. I'll try to take this first guy out. The guy by the chemical shed over here, I'll try to get with the ice pick. And then on the way out, I can snipe the other guy. And I also need to snipe two more guards to get that. Uh, oh, my bad. Oh my fucking God. Yeah, jeez Louise. Almost blew it right there. Yeah, you gotta be careful where you go. You can't just run around anywhere. All right, so there he is. This guy's dead and he doesn't even know it yet. I'm gonna wait till his buddy turns around here. Make sure nobody's looking. So I've started practicing. Oh my god! Of course they're gonna have a conversation. I've heard that I'll develop gills after a while. I can't believe I'm waiting this long for this little conversation to end. Go away, dude. You never have too much security, am I right? You're right, buddy. You're making me very uncomfortable. There we go. Excellent work, Let's Wilson. get the hell out of here. You've spread fear within the syndicate. All right, that's one so down. Yeah, Let's go ahead and up. head for the exit. And I think we can get a bead on this other guy. Okay, they found his body, but I'm not too worried about that. Um, he's on his own planet. But that new interrogation guy with the math? Okay, the problem is they can't see me with the sniper, but honestly, I think I should be good from right here because I'm going to pop those two guys anyway. There's my target. Show yourself, buddy. Pop your little noggin out. Yeah, 
It's just behind these crates. There you go. There you go. Where are you going? Where are you going? No. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Conceal, conceal, conceal. Okay. So this guy's not cooperating. Um, I'm going to have to find a different angle here. Because I have to get him with the sniper. Oh, and there's a supplier. Okay. We're... Get this wrench. I'm going to talk to the supplier real quick. Hey there. Need anything? I am. So this is where you can spend your money that you find. Um, Lockpick. Always, always handy. Buy both these syringes. They're only 500. And... I'll get the crowbar too. So all this stuff I'll get to Back take to with time. me when I finish the mission. Alright, so... You know what? I might be able to just blast both these guys and, like, one other guy. Literally from right up here. Not even gonna... It's just gonna be, like, a... Shit. Okay, this might... Back to the I need to get the hell out of here. Alright. No oh, shit. Oh, my God. Okay, we need to get out of here. We need to get out of here right now. They're searching. Shit. Alright, we're good. We're good, we're good. Ooh. See, things can go haywire so quickly. Alright. A little sloppy, okay? There's, there's a whole range of ways you can play this game. From, like, guns blazing, if you really want to. Although, that's a good way to get yourself killed. And then you can go all the way to, like, Silent Assassin, where you hide every body... And, you know, don't leave a trace. But we got three of our objectives. Uh, flexible murderer. That's pretty accurate. Alright. Pretty good payout there. And so that's the basic structure of the freelancer campaign, right? You go in, you do your objectives, you take your targets down, maybe buy a, a couple weapons and stuff, and then get out. Excellent work back there, 47. Let Thank you. Ready to continue. I'll be waiting. Okay. So, before I put anything away, let me go ahead and... Okay, we got Dartmoor, England, and Isle of Scale. Let's go... I'm more comfortable with Dartmoor, so let's go Isle of Scale. Okay, fiber wire kill, and then eliminate guards with a sniper and a SMG. So, I'm going to have to keep the sniper. I'll drop the ice pick. Uh... Hmm... I might keep the lock pick. It's only one pound. We'll drop the sedative syringe. We'll drop the emetic syringe. Okay. Look at the... See, I can't... There are certain items. They're so big that you have to bring them in in a briefcase. And so, I don't think I have a shuriken... I know I have a katana, but if I bring my katana in, I can't... Oh, wait. It says, other Japanese swords and knives also count towards the objective, and I think I have a Tonto. Check this shit out. 
Tonto. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we'll do here. And with the Tonto, you can store it in your jacket, so I don't have to bring it in a briefcase. So we'll do Katana Kill. Um, okay, I st I'm still carrying too much shit. Fiber wire kill. I don't know if I have fiber wire. I don't think I... Wait, I do. I do have fiber wire. Okay. So I'm two pounds overweight here. Um, I think we dropped the crowbar. Because I have a lockpick. Right? Lockpick, Tonto, Sniper. Oh, my SMG. Um, that's so weird that, that the assassination syndicate, okay, whatever. The thing is, I know that the guards in this level carry SMGs, so I can just pick one up off of them. So I think basically we have everything I need. Um, actually, you know what? We'll drop the silence pistol. We'll pick up one of these small uh, SMGs, this DAC X2 covert. Perfect. I could smuggle that in my jacket. And I think we have everything. We're ready to go. We are ready. Oh, wait. I don't think I opened the box. Micro taser, another breaching charge and a lethal syringe. Um, this is interesting, because we have another safe here, so I, I would need a, bre uh, a breaching charge if I don't fuck it up this time. Uh, but there's really nothing I can drop, because I need to get all these other, all these other things. You know what, I think we drop the SMG, we take the breaching charge, yeah, I think that's what we do. Because I... Yeah. Alright. So we'll have to pick up a SMG off a of guard when we get there. Have a good trip, 47. Yeah, there's just something about this game mode. Like, before, I didn't... I, I liked the story missions, but the game... It wanted you to replay them and, and do them in different ways every time. And I just, I'm kind of like a one and done, you know, I don't want to replay a mission a bunch of different ways. But with this, it's got that random element. So I've been finding it a lot more addictive. It's got that replayability factor. All right. One target over there. Wait, is it? Oh, it's just one target. So this is interesting. Obviously, I'm going to have to kill this guy with the katana, with the tonto, because that gives you more money. Let me look on the map and see where this uh, safe is. Oh, it's down. Uh, so it's in the castle area, I think. All right, this will be this will be interesting. Let's go down here. Drop down. I know there's going to be two guards down here. Yep, there they are. Um So how do we play this? I think I just snipe both of them in the head because I already have to. I already know I have to kill three guards with the sniper. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. Easy peasy. Now, with a gun this size, even if I take their their outfit, it's still going to look suspicious. 
So I have to keep the sniper in the briefcase when I'm not using it. Let's go ahead and disguise myself. I'll pick up their guns just, you know, just for funsies. And see if I can get go through here. Oh, that guy knows who I am. That's an enforcer, so he sees through my disguise. Got to kind of navigate around him. Go through here. Oh, shit, I'm not allowed here. Explosive baseball, that's handy. All right. All right. Shut that door before anyone sees something they're not supposed to. Don't mind me, ladies and gentlemen, just passing through. Keep it moving. So, so yeah, the easiest way to do this, I think, is just going to be to retrieve my sniper, put it on my back, and climb up. Of course, now I'm suspicious to everybody because I'm lugging this sniper around, but... Um, oh, this guy walks back and forth. Um... This could be okay. Is he gonna walk through? Oh, this could be good. This could be good. Oh, he's walking through. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, your body needs to go right now. Get out. How does he not see me? Okay, I gotta get out of here. Holy shit. He found his body. Oh, this is crazy. Oh, man. Okay, here we go, here we go. I don't think I can drop. I don't think I can hang here. It's fine. We're going around. We're going around. So I already, uh, already killed the guy. So that's good. Um, what we're gonna do now is snipe this guy. Okay. So that's our other sniper kill. And now I need to get one of these guys, uh, SMGs. What do I do here? Because I'm right next to an exit. I'm not going to be able to make it. Oh, you motherfucker. Okay, we're, we're dipping. We're dipping. Sometimes you just got to dip, okay? You got to play it smart because I would have lost everything if I died right there. All right. We still got... We still got two of our objectives. I couldn't get an SMG in time. Henchmen. Uh, I thought I did okay. I mean, henchmen, really? That's rude. One thing I've noticed is that when you have, like, a silenced pistol, it makes you play, like, Excellent work back there, really kind of aggressive and it can get you in a lot of trouble because you're like, oh, I got a silenced pistol. I can just, you know, pop, 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 pop. But, uh, yeah, that's a good way to, to get killed. All right. So now we're about to do our first showdown. We're going to, this is going to be in Dartmoor. So with these showdown missions, you're trying to figure out who the leader is and you have like clues about their appearance. So there's four suspects. So you have to look around at the suspects and figure out which one's the leader, and then you can take the leader down. So, okay, the payout objectives here, kill only targets. Okay, so 
there's no killing guards or anything like that. It, it wants me to poison a guard and headshot kills only. So if I do use a gun to kill the target, it has to be a headshot. Okay, so that's Excellent. simple enough. We have now tracked down the syndicate leader's location. Okay, neutralize an assassin. Yeah, this is gonna be our best bet here. Because if I if I kill an assassin, obviously that'll make me lose the kill only targets, but the payout for this is way more than the other one. So we can do this. Let's see what we have in our box. Okay, we've got a key hacker, but Dartmoor doesn't really have electronic locks. Have a antique emetic syringe. That could actually come in handy. Let's do that. So how do I want to play this? Kind of the idea I have in my head is maybe use the emetic syringe to get an assassin to like go throw up in the bathroom and then so I can neutralize the assassin and maybe that'll count towards the poison guard objective as well. Um, you know what? I think we go silence pistol just because it's kind of, you know, it's handy. It is handy, but we got to get those headshots. We could go trank gun because that way we can avoid killing people. But again, the problem with the trank gun is they still kind of have to be isolated. If you just trank a guy and there's three other guys around, they're gonna know something's up. Let me see what, what other supplies I have. That's pretty much all I have. I have a crowbar, I have some syringes. Um, we're gonna try to hit up the supplier. I didn't have a chance to do that in the last mission. So I think this is our loadout. Trank gun, breaching charge for the safe, a medic syringe to maybe neutralize an assassin and then we've got our pistol. I think that's the way to go. Safe journey. Here we go, baby. <laughs> it's just funny like I'm taking a, a four-wheeler all the way to England. Maybe the safe house is in England. They don't really specify that. We have managed to locate the leader. So to assist you, I have some intel that might help you on your mission. So this is a pretty good starting location. Um, I know there's a guard up here that's pretty easy to take out. There's a suspect right there. They have red hair. They are wearing earrings. They are wearing a necklace and glasses. We have further intel. That's the one there. The target suffers from dehydration. And they smoke. Assassin that's nearby. So that's probably the assassin right there. They always follow the leader. Okay, this guy's got a tell. Um, so if you look at the intel here, they have tells, right? So the leader, he's dehydrated, or she, dehydrated, and they're a smoker. But this guy, he, he it just showed his tell. I think it was paranoid. So this guy isn't the leader. Um, but that, that's an assassin right there. Where are you going, buddy? Where are you going? So there's a bunch of, all the suspects are over there. It's interesting. Wow. Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing, buddy. On your merry way. That's the guard we need to get. I think he turns around here. Yep. Thank you. Take this guy down. Take his disguise real quick. We're not gonna have time to hide this guy. Can kind of pull him out of sight. And take his gun. Let's go. Okay, there's the assassin. I'm not going to be able to do anything with this guy. Um, so we're looking for somebody with earrings, glasses, a necklace, red hair. So no hat. All right, so it's not this guy. He's blonde. 
Uh, that guy's got red hair and glasses. That might be him. All right, so I'm pretty sure I found the target. Um, it's this guy here. He's the only guy I think that fits the bill. Um, how do I want to do this? I mean, it doesn't matter how I get how I killed this guy, but. walking away this is kind of perfect here honestly I don't know where this schmuck is going um, got him the leader is eliminated well done, that's it okay um, the safe house. I'll be in touch. yeah I can't move this guy without kind of causing a scene Headshot. Oh, I fucked that up. I should have just popped him in the head. Oh well. I was trying to be kind of sneaky about it. Um, so let me see if I can poison a guard and then find an assassin and take him out. And then we'll be pretty much good. I need to figure out where that other suspect went that had the assassin with him. I think he's on the other side of the castle now. Okay, he's in the sitting room. Rebecca, yes. Did you find out that the boat was notarized? Damn, I'm not supposed to be in here. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Shit. assassin nearby yeah. that's him that's an assassin um, here's what we're gonna do we're just gonna pop this guy take his silence pistol and we need to poison a guard, so we're just going to poison one of these random guys here. With our emetic syringe. Let's try to get a guy on his own with this guy. Alright, there we go. We got a frag grenade too. Beautiful. All right, so you know, not not like the smoothest performance, but pretty good. I mean, this is only the first syndicate, so this was going to be pretty easy. It gets harder and harder as it goes on. Well done, forty-seven. This will make anyone think twice before turning to a life. Of Syndicate defeated. Pistolier. Ooh. Just unlocked a new pistol. It's pretty nice. Excellent, 47. You took down the Syndicate. Hell but yeah. Can tell that there are more connected. Eliminate them all. Sure. All right, so, yeah, you get a reward every time you take down a syndicate. See what I got? Really? All right, whatever. Got a little pistol, a little classic baller pistol. Yeah, at least I can fill in my little bottom slot here. All right. So, I want to do something a little different for this next syndicate. Um... I always fall back on assassination because I have all these silenced weapons. Espionage. That's a lot of sneaking around. The mule. Let's do the mule. 
organ trafficking. So this is a lot of like melee kills and stuff like that. Let's do this one. Okay, so Chongqing, this is a, an alerted territory, which means the guards are gonna be, you know, on high alert, obviously. Deadly throw, so I have to throw like a knife or something for the kill and then poison target with a sedative and take no damage. So it shouldn't be too hard. Interesting. Well, there's my sedative. I guess I'm taking that. So here's my thought. If I can get an emetic syringe on the target, make the target go to the bathroom, then use a sedative while he's in the bathroom and then throw like a knife at his head while he's passed out on the floor where no one would discover the body that would be ideal so that's kind of what i'm going to go for and i'm going to i'm going to try for silent assassin cuz that's a big big payout if i can do that um Okay, so for the deadly throw, it doesn't really matter which knife I use. I think we'll just go folding knife. Then for the sedative, I'm going to leave the syringe because I feel more comfortable with the trank gun. What else? Is there a safe? There is a safe. But the thing is... Do I still have the breaching? I do still have the breaching charge. Perfect. So we take the breaching charge. Okay, we're full. That's all we can take, but wait a minute. I, I need to bring in a medic syringe because I need to get the target to go to a bathroom where they're not going to be seen. I can't just sedate them anywhere. I think I have to go sedative syringe. So we drop the trank gun pick up the sedative syringe and the emetic syringe. And that gets us where we need to be. So I have to poke him with the emetic syringe. Then when he gets to the bathroom, poke him in the, with the sedative syringe, then hit him with the knife. And that should be good. And this probably won't work out at all. This will probably all fall apart and I'll get blasted. But, you know, it's worth a shot. Okay. Is this person underground? Good luck. Yep, they're in the lab underground. Oh, they're deep. They're deep in the lab. Oh my god. So I can't be seen by any camera. That's another problem. Or I'm gonna lose the silent assassin. So, um, yeah. What are we gonna do here? We need to get down from here. Get down to street level. This room so clean you could eat your dinner off the we need to get a disguise to get into oh, so into so the cool. lab. Now, generally, that wouldn't be too much of an issue, but because I'm trying to get the silent assassin, I'm going to have to be a little more thoughtful about this. Actually, this coconut might come in handy here. So we go this way. Got another stash here. Uh, interesting. But we're not trying to go loud. I'm not going to get the explosive. So this guy has a... Uh, he has a disguise I can use. So I'll knock him out with the coconut. 
I don't think these guys ever turn around. So we'll go ahead and take his stuff, drag him over here. We're gonna have to be careful of the security cameras because if they catch us, I'll have to erase the footage. Go ahead and get this rusty crowbar. Yeah, you can tell I've done this a couple times. Now we're into the secret lab. And, all right, go through here. There's another security camera and the suppliers in there. I think we can sneak past this way. Sneakity, sneaky, sneak. There we go. You need anything? Yeah, my After guy. You. What do you got? We'll just take these poison vials and I guess the screwdriver. It's always good to have a screwdriver. Yeah, I don't want to buy anything good doing business too serious you. right now. You know where to find me if you need to stock up again. Okay. So this guy is downstairs. So I can hop over here, but it but it's gonna put me in a hostile area. All right, wait a second. I have an idea. Got another camera here. All right. So... So I can poison the ventilation system with a sedative. Yeah, I think that's what I'm going to do here. So what I can do is use my camera to hack the glass. So now the glass is opaque. Then I can go in here. I can poison this with a sedative. All right. So that'll flow into this next room. Shit. Shut the fucking door, man. Alright, so they're they're out. They're both out. So what the fuck? I need to turn this off. I almost killed myself. Oh shit. Yeah, I took damage from that. That's okay. Okay. I didn't even think about that. All right, so I'm gonna take this guy's suit. This will allow me to get into the higher security areas. I think I should try to move their bodies. I need to hide these guys, because if they get found, it's it's done ski. Done skis. Nobody come in, nobody come in. All right. Is this guy facing away? Okay, perfect. And there's a security camera. Where's the camera at? It's in the other room looking through. Oh, wait a second. Security protocol ah. Beautiful. All right, so the guy is a, another floor down. So we can go through here. And he's right in here. Got a security camera there. I don't, I don't think I have access, but I might be able to, yeah, I can. Here we go. Sneaky, sneaky. Shit, there's a guard right there. Okay, um, this is tricky. Cause everyone in here is gonna, yeah. I need to, I need to think this through a little bit. I need basically like 
one of those elite guards disguises. Hmm. Interesting. That lady knows who I am for some reason. Another camera here. Security protocol. Block that Overlooked. off. All right. So I need to take one of these guys down. It's the only way I can really do this. I wonder if I can lure one in with the sink, maybe. Really? You guys can't hear the sink overflowing? Damn. Thinking, thinking. So all these guys are facing away. So this guy, he goes, he turns around, he goes back to the other desk, I think. Trying to figure out their, this guy's rotation. So he's, this guy's completely blocked from view from this guy. And he'll turn around, he'll go back over there. Yeah, I think I just need to take this guy down. Pull him here. Oh shit, get up, get up. Ooh, ooh my god. You mother effer. Where am I gonna put this guy? I have to hide this body, because if, if the body gets found, then I lose my silent assassin, which isn't good. So, yeah, I need this guy to walk back. He'll walk here. He'll stand here for a little bit. I need him to walk back over to that monitor so I can drag this body over there. Turn around. There you go. Okay. We're going. We're going for it. Oh my god. I think we got it. Nice. Okay. I put this guy in the closet. Bada bing, bada boom. Need to go pick this gun up. Oh, shit. Okay, that guy actually can see my disguise. Pick the SMG up, and I think we're good here. Okay, so now we can head back down to the data core here. Okay, I think we're good, I think we're good. Where's our target? Okay, so the target will recognize us, but I just need to get behind him, hit him with the emetic syringe, and there's a camera there. It's not great. I wonder, can I knock this camera out without anyone freaking? I think I can. So that guy stands there. So when this guy moves, I need to go out and I need to hit that guy with the emetic syringe, like, quickly. Yeah, get out of the way, dude. Alright, so he's, he's hit. Oh, it's a chick. <laughs> All right. Well, go puke somewhere. Come on. Don't see me. Don't see me. Don't see me. 
All right. It's happening. It's really happening. All right, we need to... Ooh, don't want to hit, get hit by that camera. Get our sedative syringe ready. Sedative. It worked. And now the final piece de resistance. Well done, 47. Oh, Shall yeah. Go to the syndicate. Return to the safe house. Collect yourself. I'll be in touch. I don't, literally, I don't know if I've ever executed something as, like, flawlessly as that. That was pretty, pretty sick. Um, just gotta get past this camera here. la ti da ti da Right through there. Might need to take this camera out. Nice. Not gonna go. Not gonna get hit by that camera, that's for sure. I think we did it. That was clean. Real clean. Hi, Roller. Got another challenge. Stealth ICA Assassin. That's what I'm talking about. Right. And I think I'm going to call it here for this episode of the Hitman Chronicles. Um, but I'm pretty tired. I'm, I'm on night shift right now. So it's about 11 in the morning, which is my bedtime. So I'm going to stop here. I think that was a pretty good run, that last mission. But... I'll try not to play this anymore, so I'll have, you know, continuity. But anyway, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Have a great one. Later.